got big space at the front of the institute here. We all got together and thought it would be ideal to use it and make it into a biodiversible garden. I love the fact that they've used, that they've obviously used artwork from the college. It's beautiful to look at, an art trail, and that's a wonderful idea. To show the art that students have been doing, but it's now out there. For, for everyone to see. I think I like this, the greenhouse one, with the plastic, so nice. The learners have been involved all the time, time with me, from helping me cut the bottles to holding stuff, planted stuff, dug stuff. The bottles are all donated. The plastic planters are from recycled materials. We've made a, a bird table using the recycled material from the roof. What we're building now is a bug city, an environment that will be conducive to the wild creatures. The sustaining side of it is the general day-to-day -day run planting, planting, upkeep, should be taken care of by the learners and other volunteers. It's a nice way to take part in the school community and also I would like to involve my students in this project. Before I didn't know about gardening much, only after coming here we grew so many variety of plants. I'm coming, looking in the garden, I'm joined it. It's quite rewarding, it gives you a sort of sense of a achievement. A lot of love was put into it as well. It helps people that feel that have underachieved to see achievements and for our clients this is very important because for a long time they felt that they were kind of like marginalized or they feel that they don't have so much to offer but then they see their efforts growing and growing into this beautiful garden. You have the gardening class, you have the cooking class so you know you grow something and then you learn also how to cook it. When they cook dinner for homeless people it all goes for them. It's delicious of course. We sold it, we made it, yeah. We're working with um, students and staff who are running their eco-garden. For a lot of the skills learners, they're directly working with the veg, seeing it grow, and then they're excited to see what we'll do with it in the kitchen. I've just had fresh cottage soup picked from the garden. They want to create an eco-friendly environment and they're achieving it day by day.